Hello everyone, my name is Sky Calrose and welcome to my channel and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today I am going to be drawing three different animated boys in my art style. And before we get started, I just want to say that as of recording this video, we have hit 35 subscribers and I don't even know what to say besides thank you. I honestly didn't think I'd get to 10. <laughs> so thank you guys so much and well, I hope you enjoy this video and can I help you? I wasn't forgetting about you. I know. But I wasn't forgetting about you, I swear. I don't... I... Alright guys, so she quits bugging me. You probably noticed her if you saw my last video. This is Amanda. I think she helps me. I think. I guess we'll see. So anyways, let's get right into our video. So today we are going to start off with a boy that I honestly don't know anything about. I've never seen the show, but I I know a lot of people really love it. Because I'm being honest. But I am drawing Todoroki from My Hero Academia. Why? Because he's cute. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really... I know so little about him besides he's like half fire and half ice and I think he's a little moody but then he's got that scar on his face and I don't know why. I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to add um boy from um Avatar. Amanda, would you please tell us his name? Thank you. Because well, he's also kind of cute, but I didn't want to include two boys with that face scar in one video, so I didn't. I know, but still. So, we're doing Todoroki. I said, I don't know much about him besides the fact that he's kind of adorable. And that he's training to be a hero. He's half fire, half ice. I think he's got some daddy issues, or at least he did. I think I saw someone on Twitter say something about that being over or something. I don't know. <laughs> but he was really fun to draw. Just figuring out how to kind of meld the half white, half red hair together. And also the scar on his face, which I tried to do before and it didn't work. Why are you showing them that? You are an evil child. <laughs> As you can see, it didn't quite work and I figured out why. I tried to add details to the scar and it don't work. So if you just take your dark red, set the layer to multiply, and lay it over the top, that's how you do it. And it actually works right. So here is Todoroki drawn in my style, and I think he is adorable. I love him. I kind of wish I created him first, because now if I make a character that looks like this, everybody's going to go, <gasps> You stole Todoroki! So, and it would be true. And also, before anyone starts coming at me in the comments, I forgot the little buckle that goes across the neck of his uniform. I don't know how when I had, like, literally, I had a, um, reference form sitting right here on my screen while I was drawing. So, yeah, I don't know how I forgot that. On to the next one. We are doing a boy I have actually know about. Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians. So this one, 
I think I just kept choosing boys that had complicated hair. Now, his hair, it's not multiple colored, but he's got like this little rooster thing going on in the middle. And yeah, that was a little hard to draw. But I was also kind of excited because, well, he's kind of got silvery white hair. The mine turned out more silver than his. <laughs> but I've been drawing a lot of silver and white hair lately for a project I'm working on. Are you showing them spoilers? I thought we talked about the spoilers. Get that out. Go, go, shoot. Anyway. So I drew Jack Frost, and I tried to give all three of these um, fairly simple but different poses. So for him, he's got his arms crossed, because, well, he's Jack Frost, why not? And the part I thought would be the easiest ended up being the hardest, of course, which was the coloring of his jacket. The blue wasn't a problem. It was all the little white details that turned into my problem. At first, I thought they were snowflakes. Then they weren't. They're more like cracks of ice. So I tried putting those on edge. It did not work at all. Uh uh. So I gave up and I put snowflakes there. <laughs> so yeah. But here is Jack Frost. I know he ended up not turning out looking anything like Jack, besides his jacket, sort of. I don't know how he ended up with such a chubby face. I don't know. It's, it's, yeah. But this is what Jack Frost would look like if he was drawn in my style. Do you approve? Thanks. Anyway, so lastly, I'm just doing three today. I was going to do four, but I ran out of time. So I had to choose between drawing Max McGrath from Max Steel or Adrian Agrest from Miraculous Lightbug. Spoiler alert, I chose Adrian Agrest from Miraculous Lightbug. All right, so getting into Adrian... I was really excited to finally draw him in my style. I've been wanting to for a while, just never quite got around to it. Honestly, in my personal opinion, Miraculous Ladybug has to be one of the best shows ever made. I just, I really love it. I know it's supposed to be for like the younger people, like I think it was originally made for 13 and under. But it kind of caught on with, like, almost up to the 30-year-olds. Please ignore the dog growling behind me. And, <clears throat> I, I just... Oh, I really like it. I don't know what it is about it. I just, like... <laughs> G 
jumps out at me and it just I don't know it's probably the first thing that I kind of for some reason really became really passionate about and my little sister doesn't particularly like that she tells me often you never used to be like this but what can I say and the other shows that have come from Zagtoon I it's very safe to assume that Zagtoon is my favorite studio now studio yeah animation studio of yeah I just love what they do and I think I think what they bring out is hundred times better than what a lot of other bigger more expensive older studios have produced I just I don't know you just I feel like there's a lot more heart in their projects and it's not just money 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 because the director he posts stuff on Instagram every once in a while and you can tell he's excited and honestly he goes under a lot of fire for things and it's like people are getting mad at him because he's finding ways to expand this miraculous labor universe that Thomas Astrick created I mean he Thomas Astrick is the creator and he's also the director so he's still got hand in it but I don't know Tom Jeremy Zag has been thinking of ways to like expand them and spread them out throughout the world and add new adventures and people are mad about that and I'm I'm not sure why I mean he has been creating other TV series I know there's several in the works Zack Storm I've got to finish it it's really fun and even um the one with the chatty axle kid Amanda would you please thank you power players even that one is just it's a lot of fun and I love what he does and people keep getting mad at him because he's expanding the miraculous universe but at the same time the other day he posted some pictures from the series he's creating called Ghost Force and the comments were filled with we don't want this we want miraculous ladybug well what about miraculous ladybug what about what but we want ma and it's like <laughs> he's working on more than one project he's a person he did not create miraculous ladybug he is trying to expand it but he tries to make it so it'll go longer people get mad at him so that he starts introducing these other series and people just want miraculous ladybug so it's like Oh, he doesn't. I, him and Thomas Astro both. I don't think they deserve half the stuff that people put them through. And then you have the people that sit there and complain about the show because it's stupid and it's ridiculous and I hate this and I hate that. If you don't like it, don't watch it. That's all I have to say about that. But I love it. I love. <laughs> I love Adrian. I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to draw his cat noir form, but I'll probably save that for another episode. So, here is Adrian Agress, the biggest oblivious cinnamon roll in the universe. And I take it you approve? Why, thank you. I kind of like him myself. <laughs> But here are the three boys, Todoroki, Jack Frost, and Adrian Agrist, drawn in my style, because I wanted to. Alright, well thank you guys for stopping by, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, you know, hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think, or what you'd like to see in the future. And I know, like two videos ago, I said my primary content would be the story thing, but, um, yeah, I'm still figuring things out, so it probably won't be, <laughs> at least not for a while. So, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by, I already said hit the like button, also subscribe. What are you doing with that? No, we, we, we don't do that here. Because that's Nerdy Crafter thing, and we ain't Nerdy Crafter. I know she's cool, so put it away. Go away, thank you. Alright. 
subscribe <laughs> if you want to see more art videos and if you want to see Amanda more. She's... She's gonna be sticking around, I think. I don't know if that's good or not. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by, and we will see you next week. Laters!